At first glance, dropping trees into a stream does not seem like a good idea. But for several years, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department and Trout Unlimited have been mimicking a natural process by strategically adding wood to degraded streams in the process restoring habitat for trout and other wildlife. Nice. Good shot. Joe Norton is the project manager for Trout Unlimited's Upper Connecticut Home Rivers Initiative. One of the common methods of adding wood to the streams was chop and drop. We refer to it now as strategic wood additions. We're walking down the stream, we're looking at stream function, we're looking at places we can add wood that are going to create pools, create cover, create habitat, and then we're looking in the forest for spots where we can wedge the wood in, the trees into the forest and make it more stable. During the early years of the program, chainsaws were used to drop trees into place. With the addition of a grip hoist, trees can now be deposited exactly where needed. We want it to stay in place so that it provides cover for fish and also helps the river to uh, reform a more natural uh, geomorphology or, or a, a stream shape and function. Beginning in the 1800s, the logging industry transformed many streams in the Upper Connecticut River Valley into more or less straight chutes to carry logs to downstream lumber mills. By straightening streams and removing down trees and other obstructions, the logging industry greatly impaired the habitat for trout and other wildlife. But by adding woody debris back into these streams, this project will hopefully start repairing decades of damage. We're Trout Unlimited and we want to create trout habitat, but we also want healthy streams. And so wood can do a lot of other things too, uh, other than just provide trout habitat. Flood resiliency is a big thing these days. Uh, when you get wood into the stream and you get your high flows, rather than getting this uh, flashiness down through these straightened uh, stretches of the river, uh, the wood will hold back some of the water. It'll allow a lot more water to be spilled out into the floodplain. And when that water gets spilled out into the floodplain, it's not going downstream and impacting communities. Before deciding where to add trees, Fisheries biologists electrofished and studied 33 waterways to get a sense of their fish populations and habitat needs. So far, all the work in Vermont has taken place in the Paul Stream and Nulhegan River watersheds in Essex County, which are two of the last strongholds of wild native brook trout in Vermont. Oh, there's, there's a trout. Nice one. We've got 12 pairs of treatment sites where we've added wood two sections of stream and we've got 12 pairs of control sites where we did not add wood. And so we've been able to electrofish those sites. So we have two years of data from before we added wood. And at this point now we have two years of data after we've added wood. And so far things are looking very good. We are seeing an overall increase in the, the numbers and size of brook trout. Gorgeous male. Yeah, it is a nice looking fish. A good example of the benefits of adding wood to streams can be found on the east branch of the Nulhegan River. It is one of several sites located on land owned by the Plum Creek Timber Company, another partner in the Chop and Drop program. This is uh, one of our sites where we added wood and we were pleasantly surprised with the numbers and size of brook trout that we found. We found probably at least three year classes the youngest guys were what we call young of the year. And then we've got these guys that are probably the next size up. Um, they're, maybe they've had two, probably about two summers out here. And then we've got some nice sized adults that are around eight inches, which is really what we want to see. As we expected, these fish were coming out of the wood. Uh, it's a good place for them to hide from predators have a place where they can kind of rest in a little bit slower water and wait for food to come by in the faster current. So that's really what we're trying to create here. And not just places for them to hang out, but places for them to survive longer so that we end up with more brook trout out here. By the time the project is completed, downed trees will have been added to six different streams, resulting in more than six miles of improved habitat. To most people, these woody additions are not that attractive but they do attract trout, and with time they look natural. Given the increase in the size and number of trout in the treated sections, it's also a habitat enhancement technique 
that's likely to be used not just in Vermont, but throughout the region.